Hey, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install WordPress on Bluehost. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to need is Bluehost website hosting. So if you don't have it already, you guys can check out the link below in the description for a discount. And if you click on it, it's going to bring us to this page right here, which is going to be step one, which is to select our hosting package. And then from here, we're just going to click on this green get started button. And that's going to bring us to the hosting selection page where you can choose any of these packages that you want. But for this example, we're just going to go with the basic $3.95 a month package. And then in a little bit here too, I'm going to show you how we're going to get this for actually $2.95 a month instead of $3.95 a month. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to pick our domain name. And if you guys aren't sure what to name your website, here's a couple of tips that may help. And then once you find the domain name that you want to use, you can just type it in and then click next. And that's going to show you if it's available or not. Sometimes stuff isn't available, so you have to come up with a different name. And once it is available, you just click on this next button here. And then once we get to this next page, you can see up at the top that the domain name is available. So we're just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this info here for the payment section. And then after you scroll down a little bit, you're going to also see the account plan again. And mine's still selected on the basic 36 month price for $3.95 a month. And then once you get to the package extras, really you don't have to select any of these if you don't want to. But just for privacy reasons, I'm going to select the domain privacy plus protection. But again, none of these package extras are going to be required to have to finish the rest of this guide. So even if you leave them all blank, that's totally fine. And now the trick to getting the hosting even a little bit cheaper is to go up and basically pretend like you're going to close the page without actually closing the page. So if you're on a desktop computer, just go up and hover the mouse over the X and pretend like you're going to close the page. And once you do that, you're going to see a special sign up offer pop up and it's going to offer you the hosting for just $265 a month. And all you have to do to get that is click on the green claim savings button. And once that savings is applied, you'll see as long as you have no package extra selected, your savings is going to be $192.24, making your total $95.40 for three years of hosting, which is a great deal. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to scroll down here to the payment information and put that in. And like I would mentioned before, this stuff is just going to be blurred out for privacy reasons, obviously. And then the last thing you got to do is just check the terms of service box. And then after that, just click on the green submit button. All right, then we're just going to land on the receipt page so you can see what your total is for your website hosting. Depending on your package that you chose, you're going to see uh, possibly a different number, possibly a higher number or a lower number than the one you see here. And then after that, you can just go back up and click on the blue create account button. And then once we get here, all you're going to have to do is have your domain name entered and then you're just going to have to create a password and then make sure you make note of that password too because you're going to need it to log into your account. And then after that, after you check the terms of service box, you can just click on the blue create account button. All right, and now our account is ready to go and just click on the blue go to login button. And then you're going to enter your domain name and then the password that you created and then just click on login. And then once you get to this point, we're going to set all this stuff up later inside WordPress. So you can just go down here to the bottom and just click on skip for now. And then once you do that, it's just going to install WordPress for us. And that's only going to take a couple seconds, maybe a couple minutes tops. Okay, and then once that's installed, you're going to land on your Bluehost dashboard. And now you've successfully set up your website. Now all we got to do is set up a couple more things and build our site. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to the left side here and click on My Sites. And then once you do that, all you have to do is hover your mouse over your website right there and then click on Log into WordPress. And then after you click that, you're just going to see a couple pages here. And once those are finished loading, we're going to end up on our WordPress dashboard. And this is going to be the page that you see every time you log into your WordPress site. This is going to be where you add all your content and where you edit your content, which also includes choosing the look of your website, among a lot of other things too, which we'll get into. 
but before we get into any of that stuff, we just need to do a few more things before we can get started. So what we're going to do is go back over to the Bluehost section, and then on the left side where it says Domains, we're just going to click on that button. And then once you get to that page, right there in the middle, just click on the Contact button, and that will bring us to this page. So from here, what we need to do is verify our email. So if you haven't gotten an email from Bluehost already, you can just click on this blue Resend Verification Email button. And then after that, you can go to your email account that you registered Bluehost with, and then find the email. It should look like this, and then once you see it, you can just click on the green Verify Your Email button. And then once you click that button, it's going to send you to this Who is Verification page, just confirming that you verified your contact information. Okay, and after that, we're just going to go back over to the left side here and click on My Sites. And then we're going to click on the Manage Site button. And that's going to take us back to our WordPress dashboard, where you're going to see it says Coming Soon Active. This basically means that your site isn't active yet until you click the blue launch your site button. So you can go ahead and click that button. Okay, so our site is officially live and now we're going to start building the actual website. Alright, and for the people who already have Bluehost, this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to log into Bluehost so you're on your Bluehost dashboard just like this. And then once you're there, you're going to want to go over here to the left sidebar and click on My Sites. And then once you're there, you're just going to go over here up at the top right to Create Site. Click on that. And then when it asks you how would you like to build your website, you can just click here on Use WordPress. Alright, and now all you have to do is at least add a title to your site. Okay, and then after you do that, you can click on Next. And then you can just select your site here from the drop-down menu. And if you want, you can keep these selected. I'm just going to unselect them actually. And then after that, you just click on Next. All right, guys, so as you can see, congratulations, WordPress is installed successfully. And that's how you install WordPress on Bluehost. Hey, guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out my new video where I show you how to build a website just like this one in about 20 minutes with no steps skipped all on Bluehost. So if you guys want to check it out, just click the link below in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video.